Hi, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, and today I'm talking Rory McIlroy. And apparently, Rory has a new coach. So, Rory has kind of struggled since lockdown. You know, um, beginning of 2020, he was looking unbeatable, and then yeah, went through lockdown and just hasn't really been able to get out of uh, first gear. Um, at the end of the last season, um, I believe he went to see Butch Harmon, and now. Apparently, so going on the article that I saw, he is now working with Pete Cowan. And um, I think working with Pete is a great move for Rory, but not because of the swing stuff. So I'm, I'm Rory's biggest fan. Um, I was lucky enough um, a few years ago, uh, walked a few holes with him at the Irish Open, and um, not only has he got a great golf game, um, he just seems like a very genuine individual. Um, what I didn't like, so and I've had, whenever you give someone a massive compliment, it usually means something else is coming. Um, I wasn't impressed with his comments after the players, after he missed the cut. It, he was whining about Bryson and he got confused about hitting the ball, trying to hit it too far. Um, Bryson has surrounded himself with people that specialize in distance. You know, he spends a lot of time on the, the gas pressure labs uh, with gears. Um, Chris Como, who is a extraordinary biomechanist. So, and uh, I don't, I can't remember the name of the guys he does fitness with, but again, that person very well um, established within the business. Um, talks about functional movement and um, so, I feel like Bryson is working harder than everybody, but he's surrounded himself with people that really know what they're doing. Um, I feel like Rory hasn't really done that. I think he's just gone out on the range and started trying to swing it harder. So his comments of how his swing feels flat and all of that, although it might be true, I feel like Rory's got a little bit wrapped up in the ego. Rory already drives it fantastically. Um, his approach play and his putting are, I'm not going to say they're bad, but they're, they're not at the same level as his driving and his, his mid-iron to long-iron play. Um, this is where I feel uh, Pete Cowan can come in, because Pete isn't going to like reinvent the wheel with the swing, but Pete will be really assertive with Rory, and I think he'll say in no certain terms, stop doing that, you need to work on other areas. Uh, Pete Cowan, although I, I don't know him personally, I have watched him present a few times, um, he's very assertive in his manner, and I think that's what Rory needs. Somebody to say, look, this is the plan. If you do this plan, you will start winning again. Um, if you do this plan, you should be the favorite for the Masters. I think you can turn this around quick. Um, Pete is renowned for his short game. He works with Brooks Kepka on his short game. Um, I think he could inject some life into Rory, get Rory practicing the right things, and then Rory can then start being Rory McIlroy again. So get some comments down below. Do you think it's a good move? Um, do you think Rory would have just come through this? Because you know what golf is like, it's a bit up and down anyway. Do you think Rory would have come through this? Um, like I said, I think it's a good move but not because Pete is going to reinvent the wheel. I don't think Pete has anything technically that he can help with Rory. I think Rory needs somebody to go, look son, you need to start playing better. Do this and you'll win the Masters. So, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and I hope to catch you soon.